Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, June 10, 2022. If you like to support our channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our newest videos, and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at the Nasdaq, and as you can see, Nasdaq is basically falling off a cliff at this current stage. We are down 2.57% at this current stage, and if you just look at most of the tech stock, major tech stocks that are basically are in the Nasdaq, they are all red. Apple's down 3.6%, Facebook is down 6.4%, uh, Alibaba's down 8%, and so on. Basically, the market is completely red at this current stage. And, uh, well, it kind of looks like we are going to visit uh, at the very bottom here yet again. If we don't have a major pullback at the end of the, the U.S. session, which it doesn't seem to be, then it's more likely that we'll have a, a test of the very lows here. Uh, this has been significantly oversold. If you look at the four-hour chart, we can see that it's way outside of the bull in Japan, and we're also very low here in the RSI in the forward chart. So you may see this rally up towards half of this um, candlestick, or probably up towards the 50 moving average, uh, give or take a 12.5k before continuing its fall. So a rally in the Asia session that is uh, probably likely at this point before continuing lower. So we are just continuing this downtrend or this bear market for the Nasdaq and basically all the under indices. So we have found resistant um, at the 20 moving average. We have yet again, and also the 200 moving average and several times the uh, 20 simple moving average. And this time we got up towards the 50 moving average and now we are broken yet down again. So every single attempt that has, uh, has headed towards the 20 simple mo the 200 moving average the 50 moving average or the 20 simple moving average have been uh, major resistant barriers. And at this current stage, it looks like we are heading back towards this level here and breaking below here. Well, that opens the door to significantly lower levels. We can see that we are around this area here where we found, uh, where we are finding support at this point. But after that, we may head towards the lows of September, October of 2020. And after that, towards the highs of 2020 before the corona crash so we can look at the fibonacci retracements for this market and we will uh, basically see where we may expect this market the bottom we're testing the 50 right here that's basically where we bounced but after that is down towards 60.8 that is where we'll most likely find a major support for this market and that is around the 10.6k dropping below that then we are talking about a serious um, um, crisis basically for the nasdaq and and at the point of expected the fed to basically jump in as well if you look at technical indicators we can see that macd is uh, turning around it's still bullish uh, the stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish and there's a lot of room to the downside in the daily chart so 50 moving average is definitely uh, support so rallying up here it's going to move in this direction apparently we have the 200 moving average moving in this direction and 20 simple moving average is acting as support 50 moving average is as well and 200 moving average we generally tested back in uh, beginning of, or the end of um, of march has definitely if we get there uh, any in the, in the coming future definitely be a uh, selling opportunity so let's look at the s p 500 this has also been hammered and very similar to the nasdaq has rallied up towards 50 got rejected 20 simple moving average rejected we did cross the 200 moving average it looked really promising here and then got rejected tested yet again and then really got rejected and now almost to the 50 and also rejected so here we have the bottom of the 3.8k and at this current stage, it looks very likely that we'll head towards the bottom of the bullish band or to the very lows here. If we drop below that, we can also look at the Fibonacci retracements for uh, the S&P 500. And we will see that we found major support here at the 38.2 um, uh, Fibonacci retracement. 
50s down here at 3.5k and then all the way down here at 61.8 which is at 3.2k where we'll mostly define the very bottom of this market so we are still a long way off and uh, this should make sense as uh, fed hasn't really started uh, its uh, um, quantitative easing or basically pulling back on quantitative easing and hasn't really started increasing interest rates so this trend that we are seeing at this current stage is most likely what we are going to witness going forward as we are finding a major uh, major resistance every time we get towards these uh, moving average 200 50 and 20 simple moving average if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is turning around it's still bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well and there's a lot of room to the downside so um inflation numbers go are going out tomorrow so we'll probably see a lot of um, back and forward and if those numbers are bad then we'll probably see this market tumble to the upside we need to get past these uh, moving averages in order to go back towards uh, a shift in the trend so let's look at the dow jones very similar here we are finding some resistance at the 50 at the 20 at the 200 moving average tested it twice here and now we tested the 50 moving average and it looks like we are going to head back towards these lows or probably even lower if you look at the Fibonacci retracements for the Dow Jones we can see that we haven't really tested the 38.2 it's down here at the 29.8k the 50 is down here at the 27.6k and the 61.8 is down here 25.3k so Dow Jones is holding up much better than the other indices uh, but still we are in a vicious downtrend at this current stage and uh, if this continue we'll probably see something similar to this making lower lows as we go forward and we'll probably see another one down here at the 30k which is probably where this is heading towards if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is uh, still bullish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well so let's look at the european um, indices and we can see that we have the dax here and this is an area which has offered massive resistance we can see a top here we get another top here and uh, at this current stage it looks like the 50 moving average is going to be tested there's technically no pullback at the end of the session but real challenge here is at this level so we have been trading in between here and if we break below roughly 13.4 k then we are probably looking at a drop towards the very lows here of 12.4 k so not in the u.s economy or european economy or the asian economy are looking very strong at this current stage and if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is crossing the signal line becoming bearish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is bearish as well to the upside we need to break above this double top here head toward uh, then head towards the 200 moving average and go past that and considering yeah um, ecb is going to increase interest rates next month then they're cutting back on quantitative easing uh, that is not good for this market whatsoever as liquidity is going to be more expensive and less offered going forward and that most likely will just have a negative effect and probably see a double bottom here in the next few weeks if we look at the VIX we can see that it has started to shoot up we're just making higher lows here and the 200 moving average has proven to be significant barrier every time this basically falls we are also making higher highs so at this current stage we may see the wix go significantly higher up towards 40 and usually that is a sign that this market has basically bottomed so it's going to be interesting to see whether or not we get towards 40 as uh, we are building up for higher volatility as uncertainty increases in the market so 40 is probably uh, the 
mark what we're going to. We're probably not going to see what we saw back in 2020, um, as this was once in uh, 100 years event. So, but increased volatility, that is probably something that we'll see as probably when quantitative easing really starts to take in effect or basically the cutback of quantitative easing. If you look at the uh, MACD is becoming bullish, stochastic is bullish and RSI is bullish as well. So let's look at the, the 10 year. So the 10 year is most likely had formed a candlestick here, I think a candlestick about flag. And if that is the case, then we are looking at a massive rally to the upside. It went fairly parabolical, found support at the 50 moving average, but the measure move here is technically one and a half uh, to the upside. So we're looking at 4.5 if that is the case, and we will basically completely overshoot uh, the highs here of 2018 and go significantly higher than that. So this is not very high, and as if you look, this is the monthly for the 10 year. We have basically broken above the 200 moving average in the monthly, and uh, we haven't done that we basically have to go all the way back towards, uh, well, this is in 1985. Uh, so yes, that is technically historic for 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 the US 10 year. And we are in basically in territory that we basically haven't been in since uh, this period of 1985. When we have to go back all the way back towards um, roughly the beginning of the 80s to see uh, levels uh, it could be basically. If we look at technical English, we can see the MACD is bullish in the in the in the in the monthly. We can also see it in the stochastic is bullish, and also in the RSI. If we go back to the daily, we can see that we are probably going to have a massive rally to the upside. And if we pull back, then the 50 moving average is most likely going to offer massive amount of support. So, yes, interesting to see, and uh, uh, definitely. Um, wake up call for the market this one so hope you found this helpful you're willing to support channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much